Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. The TV movie High School Musical took the tween set by storm, even generating a number one album back in 2006. Well, now fans are anxiously awaiting the release of High School Musical 2. CBS News spoke with the writer of this smash movie about its runaway success. I was an insane choice for this job because I'd never written a kid's thing, I'd never written a Disney Channel movie. And I got the job because I started out as a rock music journalist and I was a gym rat in high school. I mean, my whole life I just lived in a gym and I had a 10 year old daughter. So, like those three worlds the music, the sports, and kind of being tuned into kids collided in high school musicals. When I turned in the first draft, I turned it in in December of 04, 2004, didn't hear anything for two months from anybody. We thought, dead duck, over. And then I get a phone call two months later saying, yeah, they kind of like it. Two days later, they said they're going to make it. That never happens. And it's sort of the story of High School Musical. Oddly, from the beginning, the planets lined up from day one. And it started, it, you know, as a small little thing. And the, the word of mouth, the, the first night it aired, the texting numbers at all the major cell phone carriers went up during the movie. Kids were texting each other, turn this on, Zach's cute, this one, you know, and you can't buy that. You can do all the promotion and worry, but you, you know, kids either say, I love it, hate it, and they loved it, and that's the kind of thing you can, it, it cracks me up when people say the, the Disney marketing machine or something. Everybody wishes, Disney wishes they could do that, you know, and everybody works just as hard for things that don't work as they do work. And so there's a certain thing where the audience, you find something, and if you try and interpret that and think you know what it is, I think you're headed for failure the next time you do it. A lot of people say, well, it's obviously nothing like high school, and we go, no kidding, you know, because we didn't set out to make a literal story about high school, obviously. We wanted to do something about the emotions you feel at that age, and also about kids having fun. When you watch, you have kids, you watch little kids, they spin, they sing, they dance, till somebody starts judging them and saying, oh, that's not so good, or it makes fun of them. And I think within us, and certainly within high school kids, it, Everybody loves that, the idea, what's most people's fantasy to be a rock star, to get on stage, if I could just one time get up and sing. And there's a little bit of that aspirational magic in High School Musical because kids say, wow, I, I would love to do that. I would love to be in a place personally and physically where I could do that. And we hear that a lot. It's fun to do something that makes kids happy. I mean, it sounds corny. You know, but I have a child, and to see kids really have fun with it, that's worth a lot to me. That